uh, Carvalho. Um, and uh, hopefully the replay will um, uh, for sure let us know whether that was Carvalho. But what uh, that car just absolutely it got turned sideways. We saw that and then it absolutely vaulted Tom. Yes, there was so much energy being dissipated in the accidents and we saw uh, Carvalho, if that is Carvalho, he's out of the car. Uh, we see the course car coming onto the circuit and we will uh, look to see. We saw a few marshals running for cover and we'll hope that none of the spectators or the marshals within that area were in, caught up in that accident. We see the driver is out of the car, but um, second, second big shunt there of, of, of the session. All the medical crews attending the accident and that is what they are trained to do. And there we can see, as you say, the um, marshals and the... We saw him in a bit of trouble. Um, we can see now that there'll be substantial damage there to the, um, to, the, to the barriers as well. Now, of course, it is crucial to mention, as I was going on to, just before we see all the replays of that horrific accident, that um, marshals, medical crews, so many people... It's our relief because I was holding my breath a little bit as we see the ambulance crews being stood down now and they'll return back to their station. They're fixated around the circuit. So again, that is another really positive sign. And we'll see the course car and, and some of the stewards investigating and having a look at the tire wall and the damage to it. If there is any, all the armco, all the perimeter fencing. And that is what will determine when we get back racing.